All right, so here we are at Pride. Finally, after a year of planning, it's happened. We have over 800 persons registered and we have many more expected to come during the day. It's amazing, the energy. Right now, we have a talent contest going on and it's loud and raucous and, and just wonderful. Um, we are going to leave the beach, which is safe um, for us for now. Uh, but we're going to leave and escape and go and do some pop up protests in town. It is very important that we show the members of the LGBT community, the community in general, but the members of the LGBT community that we are here. Because you don't know who is passing in a car. That's true. And don't know that they are not the only gay in Mobile. Yeah. They, a lot of kids don't know that they are not the only gay in Mobile. Somebody out there is watching me and seeing why we're here. I'm not the only one, and it gives them hope. What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? Alright, so thank you for doing this, and I, I hope <laughs> that we will eventually get to the point where we can do a proper march. Yes. Are, yes. are some kind yes. of public yes. demonstration yes. with the police protection? Yes. Alright, so it's time to say goodbye after an exciting week of Montego Bay Pride. And I'm exhausted but really feeling accomplished. And I'm really thankful for all our donors and sponsors that helped us to pull off the biggest and best Montego Bay Pride ever. We had new programming such as the first ever LGBT film festival in Jamaica. And we had a social justice project painting our police station, which we never thought we'd see in Jamaica. So amazing work has been done, and we now look forward to building on this next year. We're going to be looking at new programs, recruiting new volunteers, and ensuring that we keep getting bigger and better every year. Thank you again for everyone who came out, and see you next year in Montego Bay Pride 2018. Yeah.